The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Florida's nickname is the Sunshine State, but it does nothing to incentivize solar. Wayne Wallace traveled to the Capitol this past week from Largo to push for an energy policy. We are one of uh, maybe 12 states left that do not have a comprehensive energy plan. Wallace wasn't alone. Delegates from across Florida came to a Clean Energy Congress. Their goal? To push and embarrass policymakers into doing more to wean the state from oil. And there's not a whole lot of success in, in conversion to clean energy, and there's a struggle uh, that we see in trying to move uh, states to doing more uh, solar, wind, and hydro. When Florida offered solar rebates five years ago, the program was so popular it ran out of money. Participants had to settle for 50 cents on every dollar they were promised. The state energy office was moved following the rebate debacle. Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam got control of the office. He's holding an energy summit beginning on Monday. And it's my intention to have an energy bill this year. Uh, we uh, moved uh, the ball forward last year legislatively in terms of the use of natural gas as a transportation fuel. While solar gets no incentives, lawmakers did decide to start paying part of the cost for businesses to convert their fleets to natural gas. Companies can receive up to $25,000 for each of 10 vehicles they convert. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vassalinda reporting.